Hello, my name is Amy. I'm a veterinary student and today we're going to talk about the importance of dental health in your pets and how to brush your dog's teeth. Just like humans, dogs and cats can suffer from periodontal disease. This is a destructive inflammatory response to the buildup of plaque and tartar on your pet's teeth. This can lead to painful swollen gums, bleeding, tooth loss, and even bacteria that get under the gum line and can enter your pet's bloodstream and cause damage to other organs like your kidneys or liver. Plaque is a biofilm or a protective layer produced by bacteria. This can adhere to your pet's teeth in as little as six to eight hours. Calculus is when plaque is exposed to the minerals in your pet's saliva. This makes the plaque become a lot harder and denser and more adhered to your pet's teeth. This can start happening in as little as a few hours and will be completely finalized within two weeks. The process of plaque turning into calculus can occur over and over, leading to thick, hard layers of tartar on your pet's teeth. This process affects nearly all dogs and cats four years of age and older. This can be a slow process and the pet may need a dental cleaning every couple years, or it can be a faster process and start occurring earlier, and some of those pets need dental cleanings more often. The only way to clean the teeth once calculus has started to build up is from a professional veterinary dental scaling and polishing. This procedure is done under anesthesia. They want to be sedated for the procedure so that the veterinarian can clean the entire mouth reaching those teeth right in the back, and they can also clean under the gum line, which would be uncomfortable if your pet were awake. This also provides them an opportunity to take dental radiographs, x-rays, or remove any teeth that need to be removed and are causing them pain. One of the first things people notice is bad breath. Now, this can be caused by quite a few things, but poor dental health is often the culprit. Some owners may notice that their pet leaves a little bit of blood on their chew toys or treats. This can be due to gingivitis or that inflammation of the gums. In more severe cases, you might notice your pet having difficulty eating or chewing. They may favor one side of their mouth, they may drop food when they're trying to eat, or in really bad cases, they may try to avoid eating altogether and have a decreased appetite. Once you've started to notice these signs, your pet may already be in need of a dental cleaning. There is a way to reduce how often your pet will need a professional veterinary dental cleaning, and that's through preventative care. And one of the simplest forms of preventative care is by brushing your pet's teeth. Since the biofilm, the protective layer that's produced by the bacteria adheres to your pet's teeth within six to eight hours, the best thing to do is to brush your pet's teeth once a day. This will prevent that plaque and calculus buildup and stop it from forming into those big chunks of tartar. The best way to teach your pet to accept having their teeth brushed is to introduce it slowly into their daily routine. Before you introduce a brush to your dog, you want them to get used to you manipulating their mouth, touching their lips, and looking at their teeth. Once they're used to you handling them, you want to introduce them to the toothbrush. Over the course of a few days, show them the toothbrush and see how they react. If they're doing well and they don't seem to be afraid of the toothbrush and maybe even put their mouth on it or lick it, then you can move on to the next step. With the toothbrush in your hand, go ahead and lift their lip. Give them lots of praise and even a treat. The next step is to lift their lip and brush one tooth. This is where you'll stop for one day. Over the course of the next few days, you'll continue to lift their lip and maybe brush a couple teeth until a few days later, you get to the point where you can brush all the teeth on one side of their mouth. And then a few days later, brush all the teeth on both sides of their mouth. There's no need to rush into brushing their whole mouth right away, as long as you're doing a, li a little bit at a time. Once your dog is comfortable with the toothbrush, you can introduce toothpaste. Apply a very small amount to the brush, 
and just like you would before without the toothpaste, you're going to lift their lip and brush their teeth. giving them lots of praise and time to relax. And then you're done. There are some great toothpaste on the market to help you enhance your dental care routine. You want to choose one that's approved by the Veterinary Oral Health Council, or the VOHC. Since your pet will be swallowing the toothpaste, you want to make sure not to use a human brand, since those are not intended to be swallowed. If your pet does not like one flavor, try another flavor, or you can even try brushing the dog's teeth without toothpaste. This is totally fine, as the physical action of brushing your pet's teeth is what's really going to help remove that plaque and prevent the buildup in the first place. The VOHC also has dental chews and treats that are approved and recommended for additional dental care. If you see these in the store, you'll see the little VOHC seal on the bottom, or you can look up at the VOHC website, vohc.org, and see the products that they approve. Taking a few seconds every day to brush your pet's teeth can save your pet and your wallet a lot of discomfort in the future. If you find yourself with any further questions about brushing your pet's teeth or their dental care, reach out to your local veterinarian.